overflows the secret of initiation marpa had not been sleeping for 7 or 8 days and his master asked marpa why are you not sleeping i see you do not go to sleep at all so what is the matter marpa ans responded you are playing tricks with me you came in my dreams and you were asking for the mantra i cannot tell even you once the promise is there it will not come out of my mouth even in a dream but i became fearful in sleep who knows some day i may forget this is the secret of initiation what goes on between the master and the disciple is a secret more than the secret between husband and wife try to understand what is initiation initiation is a deep communion it is like opening the door to an infinite treasure only then a deep transfer of energy from the master to the disciple becomes possible energy always flows downwards from concentrated to the dilute one every energy flows downwards as water flows downwards the master is one who has attained one who has known and one who has become he is the highest peak of energy possible the purest energy he is the everest of energy this energy can flow towards anyone who is receptive humble and surrendered this surrendered and receptive attitude with a deep humbleness will be needed to receive otherwise you yourself are a peak not a valley then the energy cannot flow downwards to you energy flows from a peak to valley the awakened one is the peak of consciousness as energy and the disciple is the valley you are a different sort of peak the peak of ego not of energy not of being not of bliss not of consciousness you are a density of ego of iness you are a peak and with this peak no initiation is possible ego is the barrier because ego closes you and you cannot surrender without that there is no opening to be a disciple to be initiated one has to surrender totally and there is no partial surrender surrender means total you cannot say i partially surrender it makes no sense then you are still with your ego ego has to be surrendered and when you surrender the ego you become receptive this receptivity opens the door to infinite treasures of consciousness you become like a valley and then the peak can flow downwards to you and i am not talking symbolically it is so actually it is like being in deep love in deep love you can feel that love actually flows between two bodies it is an actual flow energy is being transmitted transferred received and given but love is on the same level the two persons are at the same level you both can remain peaks of ego and still love can happen for a certain period of certain 
moments. That is the reason love does not transcend beyond the physical realm. And even at the physical, it, its effects are not long-lasting. But with the Master, you are not on the same plane, level. If you try to be on the same level, initiation becomes impossible. Love is possible, but initiation becomes impossible. Initiation is possible only when you are on a lower level of energy. Just humble, surrendered, open to receive. When the disciple is feminine, just womb-like, passive, able to receive, the master is the male factor in initiation. This secret of initiation is now completely lost because the more we are educated, the more civilized, the more cultured, then you are more egoistic and now to surrender has become impossible. It has always been difficult, but now it is not difficult instead impossible. Initiation is a transfer of inner energy, actual energy, and the master can enter you and can transform you if you are ready and receptive. But then deep trust is needed. More trust than it is needed in love, because you do not know what is going to happen. You are completely in dark. Only the master knows what is going to happen and what is what he is doing. He knows, but you cannot know. And there are things that cannot be said about what is going to happen because with human mind there are many problems. One problem is this, that if something is said before it happens, it will change the happening. It cannot be said. So there are many things which the Master cannot tell you. He can do them to you, but he cannot say them to you. That doing is initiation. He actually moves in you, in your body, in your mind. He cleans and then changes you. The only thing required is your total trust because without it there is no opening and He cannot enter you. Your doors are closed. You are always defending yourself. Life is a struggle for survival, to survive. This struggle gives you a closing. You are closed, afraid. You are afraid to be vulnerable. Someone may enter, someone may do something within you, so you shrink yourself. You remain closed just hiding behind, constantly defending. In initiation, you have to lose this defense. This armor of defense has to be thrown away consciously. You become vulnerable and then the master can enter you. This is the beginning of the process of initiation. Once you are vulnerable, open and inviting, it becomes easy for Master to work in you because when the things are said outwardly, it has its impact 
but effect is not deep and long lasting for that he must work within you your innerness has to change and for that on the part of the seeker on the part of the disciple a total trust is necessary and with total trust comes a womb like receptivity you are ready to receive whatever is being shared or given to you or poured into you you do not question and then so it becomes very difficult under the present day situation when we are more cultured more educated so initiation is the beginning and it is a secret love affair between like love affair between master and disciple nothing is given yet still much happens his presence acts as a catalyst enough for now